Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ray. And guess what? It is that time of the month again. Not that one, but the time when I bring one of my friends to the kitchen. And joining me today is Ryan. Hello guys. And today we're gonna cook a braised pork belly in soy sauce. From where I'm from, this dish is usually called hongba. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna call it as braised pork belly in soy sauce. Let's cook. First up, let's cut the garlic and the ginger. So you can just put that and just mash everything around Put like this. Now I'll start killing the ginger. Slice the ginger quite thinly. Not thin. Quite thin. You want some like that? And like that. And now we just have to cut the pork. I already bought the one in ratios like this, bone in. But you can also buy like the whole one and just cut it yourself. I need smaller pieces than this, so we're gonna cut this into like three pieces. Just be careful with the, with the bone, you don't wanna shatter it. Season it with salt and some pepper. pepper. I'm using white pepper today. Now feel free to use the black pepper as well and mix it well. Turn on the stove on high heat for some cooking oil. I'm going to add garlic and the ginger. Saute it for like two minutes. Add in a few star anise, a pinch of Szechuan pepper. Couple bay leaves, one cinnamon stick, just small one like this, seven cloves, and just stir fry it for a couple more minutes. And now we can add dressing wine. This is like a Chinese cooking wine. The Chinese cooking rice wine, you may not able to find it from where you are. You can also replace this with normal white wine or port wine. Now we're ready to transfer our pork inside. Now when your pork looks like this, add soy sauce. I'm using just normal soy sauce like this. Add about a cup of it. You can always add more later. Mix it brown. Half cup of sugar. Couple more pinch of salt. And this is optional but I also like to put some sweet soy sauce in it. Just to increase the depth of flavor. Just a drizzle of it. Like that much. Now you don't have to use this brand of soy sauce. Just look for anything that says sweet soy sauce on the label. Even if you cannot find anything similar to that, just add more normal soy sauce and sugar. Top it up with some water until it covers all the pork. And just stir it around. Leave it here, covered, low heat, one to one and a half hour. Keep checking every 15 minutes just to make sure it's not burned on the bottom. Now we're gonna prep the veggies to go with the pork. All we need is two cloves of garlic and three bok choy. Cut the garlic first. Just thin this slice. Put it into water in a pan. Add a pinch of salt. Cut the tail of the bok choy and just wash it. Just cut it into two. We just have to boil it for 30 seconds to 60 seconds. After one hour mark, your pork should look something like this. It should get darker in color and should be tender enough. Now all you have to do is adjust the seasoning. For this recipe, you need more of a palate rather than tasting. So you're gonna need a lot of tasting to do and adjust the flavors based on your palate. I've tasted mine. It needs a little bit more salt, sugar, like a quarter cup more, a little bit more sweet soy sauce. Mix. Now have a little taste. Oh, you're right. Yes. And now let it reduce over high heat for 10 to 15 minutes or until it thickens a bit. While waiting for the liquid to reduce, we can start cooking the bok choy. Just put it little by little and blanch it for 30 seconds. Take it out of the water, leave it to cool on the side and continue blanching the rest of the veggie. After 15 minutes reducing time, mine has reduced by half. And as you can see, the liquid is thicker and that's ready to serve. Take a bowl of steamed rice, scatter your bok choy around, just like so. Top it with the pork. All right, that's done. That's it, you guys. Praise pork and soy sauce. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Please follow Rice on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to this channel to see more stuff like this coming. Here are the links to my previous videos. Links and measurements gonna be in the description box below. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you wanna see me cook next time. See you, see you next week, week, guys. Bye.